Let's look at what's new in Hive this week. You now have the ability to specify parent project and project templates. You can now customize notifications per project. We're also delineating at mesh notifications between groups and individuals. And last but not least, filters can now pick up on sub-actions in Gantt View. Let's start with the first update. You now have the ability to specify parent project and project templates. When you're creating a new project template, once you get to the advanced project settings, you'll see the option that allows you to define the parent project. If you're editing an existing project template, you'll see the same option appear right underneath the name of the project template as well. Now let's look at how to customize notifications per project. If you want to turn off the notifications you are getting for specific projects, you can now go to notification settings and choose to only get notified for at mentions and assignments on specific projects. We're also delineating at mention notifications between groups and individuals. Just as an example, if I were to mention a team in a chat or comment before, it would say Osge mentioned you instead of listing the name of the team. We're changing the language here. So moving forward, when I mention a team or a group, my teammates will not get a notification that says Osge mentioned the CS team or Osge mentioned the group in a comment. Moving on to our last update for this week. When you filter in Gantt view, the filters used to only pick up on actions, not the sub-actions. Now moving forward, when you filter in Gantt view, the filter will pick up on sub-actions as well. To give an example, if you were to filter all the actions here with the meeting label, it will now pick up both the parent action and the sub action. That's all we have for this week. Thanks to everyone who has requested features or voted in Kenny. We're excited about the product we're making together and we're so proud to be community built. See you all next week.